look at if that's you, that's you, and that's lovely. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is this: because a beard is a representation, just as much as long hair is a representation, just as much as this or that, everything is a representation. Right. What I started realizing is I became the identity of this beard. I know that sounds funny, but stop for a second and check yourself on it. So true. I had started becoming, seeing myself, this biased lens of this bearded, burly, lumberjacky mountain man. Look, and that's all tongue in cheek, and that's all cute and kitschy, and that's fine, unless or until it becomes an actual identity that you are clinging to. Mm-hmm. And it's not so much how I identify Carrie as much as how she identifies herself. Mm -hmm. It's not so much how Carrie identifies me as how I identify myself. When I started realizing that I was a bit too much into this beard thing, mm. you know what I said to myself? It's got to go. It's got to go. Because I don't want to have an identity. Look, I have a massive tattoo on my chest yeah. that's written in uh, backwards. Yeah. Because when I look in the mirror, I can read it and it says Enigma. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to remind myself every single day to be a mystery even to me. Mm -hmm. That when we identify too much to a singular or, 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 or a prioritized part of ourselves, we become to be that thing. And that is the exact opposite of Sawabona, which is what we teach. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Who are you really? I'm not my beard. I'm not my blonde hair. I'm not my 18 inch arms. Mm -hmm. Those are things I amass, accumulate, accrue, develop over time. And they're all beautiful, blissful things. And I would never ask you to take them away from yourself. But what I'm saying is if you have now begun to, uh, look at, do you know how many people are dying? Dying of increased or too much steroid use as a really kind of like weird example. Mm -hmm. But it's because they, it's not that they're building muscle to such a massive degree. It's that they're identifying themselves as that massive guy, that massive girl. Mm -hmm. And if they were stripped of that, they would have a literal identity crisis. Right. Right? So I started recognizing that a lot of my identity was based in and around my beard mm. for myself. Not how you saw me or how Carrie or my kids, how I was starting to see myself. Mm -hmm. And what's the panacea? What's the great cure of all things that we always tell you? Awareness. As soon as I became aware of that identity being attached to like this facial hair, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Let's strip the identity. So I shaved it.